Welcome to our every two week update where we're excited to let you know what we've been up to as well as share more about the amazing Brick Academy at Mendoza Elementary School. At Leaders in Training, we are a community. We believe in more than providing opportunities for high school students. We live in the congressional district with the lowest percent of people with bachelor's degrees in the state. We don't believe in blame. We believe in working together and empowering our students to work together to be part of and a change in their own community. This update video, we're humbled to share how Mendoza Elementary School teacher Justin Breck donated his $5,000 award for winning Nevada Teacher of the Year to Leaders in Training towards scholarships. Breck Academy is a program that allows kids to express themselves more. Basically, they go on a lot of field trips. And uh, Mr. Breck, he's a good, he's a good man. He, he basically is there to help them through whatever they need to, to be doing, homework, like activities, stuff like that, just problems in the real world, basically. The reason I joined Brick Academy and why I like it is because it helps us get out of our comfort zone and it helps us a, like a, towards a path through college. It prepares us for it. Uh, my little sister, Kimberly, she, took, she was part of the Brick Academy and I would go uh, on like, probably a regular basis, you could say, to go help out and do some community service, I guess, for them too. And just be there for my sister, basically. Okay, so I started Brick Academy because I saw students who left my class and went into middle school kind of become different people. And so Brick Academy was a proactive solution to developing better kids, not just academically, but as individuals, and being able to withstand the pressures that middle school and high school and all the other things that, that come along with becoming a, a young adult. And I thought it was my job as a fifth grade teacher to kind of give them character traits and strengths that can help them survive the difficulties of growing up in this area. It's just a great time to like bond together where you can just like get I get the best that out of yourself. It is a really good program for students that aren't in elementary school. My sister went to she went to a lot of field trips and she did really good. She's in sixth grade. She's in the leadership intern leadership um, program at Gibson and you know, she just has straight A's at the current moment. The benefits are that I'm pretty sure you could do more. It gives you like more opportunity. He teaches you really good. Hey, what I love about the families is obviously there's a willingness to want more for their kids. If they're going to enroll their kids in a nine and a half hour program, then that shows me that they want more and I have to do my best to give them more. And I love that kind of the synergy between the families and, and the school. I think it affected her in a positive way actually. Um, it allowed her for her to be more professional. Right now she's at a magnet. She's in a magnet program, so whatever he's doing, he's doing it well. Because I mean, everyone that I've heard of basically that's done the Brick program, the Brick Academy, um, has gotten into some sort of magnet program or accelerated program. If the money can stay within the same geographic area and benefit the kids and, and accomplish a common goal, then of course Leaders in Training made perfect sense. I joined Leaders in Training because I wasn't very productive at my house. So over here I'm more productive in schoolwork and in my community. Mostly to help my community at first, but after I realized what it could do to improve my grades and to keep me on top of the ball, I realized that it was good for me. Instead of being out there doing stuff that wasn't really good, like just pretty much what I do is I skate and I just go home and sleep. That's basically what I would do. So it just gives me something to do after school that would be productive and help me in the future. I believe in what they do. You know, if Brick Academy's goal is to produce good people, well, leaders in training is obviously a, a great way to, for that money to go because not only is it in the community, but it kind of continues the mission of what we're about. And we share that similar vision of getting kids to, to higher places. Leaders in training has helped me get my grades higher and also do more for my community. I love leaders in training because the, satis the, the satisfied look on the kid's face when they actually realize that they can do it and that I've actually helped and inspired someone to, to read and to pursue their dreams and do something positive in life is what I love about leaders in training. Uh, Mr. Breck's $5,000 donation made me feel really proud and actually have a little bit of faith in people putting money into something that really matters and that would benefit us and many people in the future. 
And we've had another busy two weeks at Leaders in Training. First, thank you to all of our volunteers. Cohort 1 continues to work on Vision for Social Justice projects, while Cohort 2 is busy at spring internships. Cohort 3 started Year 1 Leadership Speaker Series, and we're excited to welcome Maria Silva from Fox 5. She's both a CCSD graduate and a first-generation college graduate. Thank you for sharing your story. And we also are welcoming some new volunteers and college mentors. Development update, only 27 people have taken the bet that our students are more than last in the nation. We have 173 more to go by 2015. Thank you, Rachel Rakowski, for joining us. One way us. I, can, uh, I want to be a leader in East Las Vegas is by coming back and actually helping out po possibly even more programs. Like, if I ever do, which I intend to, if, if I ever come back, like, become famous or big or, or have a big multi-million dollar corporation or something like that, I want to come back and I want to give back to the East Las Vegas and all the programs that have pretty much started here and are probably going to be here in the future.